All right. Well, now we are going to try to show you how to draw boxes using two-point linear perspective. What is the difference between two-point and one-point linear perspective? Well, I think you can probably figure it out. In one-point linear perspective, how many vanishing points did you have? You only had one. Well, how many vanishing points do you think you're going to have with two-point perspective? That's right, you're going to have two. Okay. So first thing we need to do first is draw the horizon line. So take your ruler, and again, if you have this as a separate piece of paper that is perfectly, you know, edged like this, it's just easier to take your ruler and butt it up with the sides of the paper, the left or the right. Uh, it might be easier to use a separate piece of paper or separate a paper out of your sketch pad. If you have a piece of computer paper, that'll be fine. Um, if you're going to keep the paper inside of your sketch pad, you're, again, you're going to have to line the ruler, the end of the ruler up with those square cuts that are inside of your sketch pad. And that can be a little complicated. So if you need to separate it out, that's fine, just as long as you have a nice clean edge. But you always have to take the end of that ruler and butt it up against the edge of the paper. Now, we don't put a vanishing point in the middle. Some of you guys may have jumped ahead and tried to do that. Do not put a vanishing point in the middle. In two-point perspective, your vanishing points are going to be at the very, 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 very end of the left side of the page and at the very, 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 very end of the right side of the page, as far over as you can get it. Please don't put them here. It'll warp things. Try to put it here. Sometimes people will do it here to create warping, and that can be cool, but for what we need to do, we really need them at the end, so please put the vanishing points at the end. Now, when we did one point perspective, we started off with drawing the face of a box, right? Well, we're not going to draw the face of the box, because in, in one point perspective, you were parallel to the front of a box, whether it was above you, whether it was below you, whether it was on the same level as you. In two point perspective, you're drawing a box as if you were parallel to the corner of it. So what we're going to do this time, we're going to go up to the top of the page and we're going to draw one vertical line. Take your ruler and butt it up, make it flush, make it even with your ruler. Make sure that the ruler isn't sticking out above it, below it, angled in any way at all. Make sure it is exactly even with your page. Okay? And we're going to draw a line not exactly at the top, but close to the top. Probably about like this. I wouldn't make it too big because we need some room here because you're going to be drawing another box here in a little bit. Okay, So what we've done is we've drawn the edge of the box. We're not going to draw the face of it because this is two-point perspective. In two-point perspective, you're not parallel to a square or rectangle. You're parallel to the corner box as if you're facing it head on. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our pencil. We're going to put it on the bottom corner because this is technically a corner of the box. Take a line from this bottom corner to the right hand side to the right vanishing point then connect it from this same corner to the left vanishing point spread your fingers out so your ruler doesn't slide push the pencil up against the ruler like so now if these aren't hitting the same spot you need to erase one of these lines and redo it they need to hit the same spot they need to make sure they hit the vanishing point now what you did to the bottom corner, you're also going to do to the top corner. So take your ruler, and it's going to go from the top of this vertical line to the right vanishing point. It's a good idea to put the corner on there first, but it's kind of awkward. I'm drawing it this way just so that you can see what I'm doing. But you take your pencil from here, and you take it all the way to the right vanishing point. Now, it might be easier for you when you do this. It might be easier for you to actually take your ruler, put it at the top of the line here, in here and draw it this way. I just didn't do that because I didn't want to hide from you what I was doing. I wanted you to be able to see it. So it might be a lot easier for you to do it this way than flipping it around like this. Now, what I did to this side, I'm also going to do to this side. I'm going to connect the top of this corner to this vanishing point. And again, it would be easier for you probably to take your ruler and draw the line from here to the vanishing point. But so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to move it like so. Sorry the camera froze there for a bit, so I, I waited. So I'm going to take it, all right, put my hand right here, and we'll draw a line from here to the vanishing point. Very good. Okay, now what we're going to do now is, remember how earlier when we did one point perspective boxes, how we had lines that were twins to each other? Well, we're going to have the same idea here too. 
we're going to have a line that's a twin to him on the right side and a line that's a twin to him on the left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler and we're going to butt it up with the top of our page. Could be the bottom, but I'm going to choose the top because the box is closer to the top. I'm going to get it kind of closer. I'm going to make sure that this is perfectly level. I'm going to draw a line from here to here. There's one twin. Now, I do not have to make the left side the same size. I can make it a little longer if I want to. doesn't matter. But I still need to take my ruler and butt it up because all the vertical lines I make have to be parallel to each other. So I take my ruler, do it like so, butt it up like this. Very good. Okay. Now, it's pretty easy. Remember what we did to this line after we drew it? We connected the top to the left vanishing point and to the right vanishing point. We connected the bottom to the left vanishing point and the right vanishing point. We're going to do the same thing to these guys. Now guess what? We don't have to connect the top and the bottom to the left vanishing point. They already go there. But we do need to connect the top and the bottom of this left line to the right vanishing point. So let's start with the bottom. Take our ruler, take it to the vanishing point, take it to the bottom corner. Spread your fingers out. Might help to have your pencil here first before you do that. This is a solid line, all the way down solid. Very good, excellent. Um, and then let's draw a line from here to the same vanishing point, but this one's gonna be a dotted line because it's gonna be inside. It'd be easier for you to probably do it like this, but I'm gonna flip it around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put my ruler at the top corner, take it to that vanishing point, spread my fingers out on the ruler, Go from the top, dotted line. Oh, I had something kind of weird happen here. Do you remember how when we did one point perspective boxes, I said that sometimes a line from one corner might run into another line here? That's what happened here. I wish it hadn't because that might confuse some of you. But what you need to remember is that this corner has to go to the vanishing point. It doesn't have to go through this corner. It has to go to the vanishing point. This is just a coincidence. If we have time, I might do another one and show you how it could be different. Now, what we did to this line, we took the top bottom of it to the right vanishing point and the top of it to the right vanishing point. That's what we did to the left line. Well, the right line, we don't need to connect the top and the bottom to the right vanishing point. So it already goes there. But we do need to connect the bottom and the top of this vertical line to the left vanishing point. So let's go ahead and connect the bottom corner of this line all the way to the vanishing point with a solid line. Got it. Now this one's going to be a dotted line. So we take our ruler, put it on our vanishing point. Again, I'm just showing you so you can see what I'm doing. This is going to be a dotted line. Now notice on this one, look, it doesn't go through this corner. It's because it's just, it's just the placement of the box. What I showed you earlier was just a coincidence. Okay. Now there's only one more line left to make on this one. We've got the front corner. We've got the left front side. We've got the front left side over here, front right side here, front left side here. We have the bottom of the box here. Uh, but what we need is, is the back corner. We have one corner, two corners, three corners. Well, there's four corners. So we take these two corners and follow them back. And right where the X is made, that's where it's gonna start. We go down these twins, look at the bottoms, see where they connect. Oh, there's an X here. So it's going to be a dotted line from here to here. X marks the spot. Take your ruler, butt it up with either the top of the page or the bottom of your page. I'll choose the top because it's a little easier to see. And it's pretty close to right. And don't erase away all the lines, but if you want to erase away at least right where they touch or connect to the box to make it look a little less confusing, you can, but what we have is a two-point perspective box floating above the horizon. And a lot of people believe that two-point perspective is easier than one-point perspective. And I think one of the reasons why is, is that in one-point perspective, you had to keep all vertical lines parallel to each other and all horizontal lines parallel to each other. But in two-point perspective, you only have to worry about keeping vertical lines parallel to each other. There are no real horizontal lines other than the horizon line. If it's not a vertical line, it's got to be a line that's going to one of the two vanishing points, and that's it. Okay? So let's go ahead and try to draw. Uh, you'll draw another box down here, 
And I tell you what, I will go ahead and do one more down here and then we'll probably do a separate video for this last box. I wasn't going to do this one, but because this lined up so perfectly with it, I'm afraid that may throw someone off. So I'm going to go kind of quick and kind of fast. So vertical line. Let's take it to the vanishing point. On the right side. Vanishing point on the left side. I'm going to make this a little lower because I'm going to put one more box in here. I want to make sure it fits. I'm now going to connect the top to both the right side and the left side. I put the twins on here. I'm going to use the bottom of the box. I make sure it's perfectly parallel. Butt up my ruler. One on the left side. I'm going to do one on the right side. These three guys are parallel to each other. I'm, I don't have to connect the left side to the vanishing point on the left line, but I do need to connect the top and the bottom of this left line to the right vanishing point. So a dotted line down here because it is behind the box. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the top to the right vanishing point, but it's going to be a solid line because I'm looking down upon it. This line, I'm going to do the same thing I did to this one. I don't need to connect the top and the bottom of this line to the right vanishing point. It already goes there. But I do need to connect the top and the bottom to the left vanishing point. Every vertical line, the top point and the bottom points are going to go to both vanishing points. Okay, dotted line at the bottom. Okay, and then the top one's going to be a solid line. And then the last line I need to make is the back corner that I showed you up here. So I'm going to do the back corner. How do we know where the back corner is? Well, look at these two twins. If you follow the tops of them as they go back right where they intersect, that's where it's going to start. It's going to go straight down. Well, where does it stop? Well, let's go to the bottom of the twins and where they connect. And we might have to take our ruler and kind of draw our lines a little bit. It should be right here where this connects. So we take our ruler. We butt it up with the bottom of the page or the top, dotted line straight down, and it should pretty closely hit the corner. And again, don't erase away all your convergence lines. We want those there as proof that you did it correctly, but you can erase right where it touches if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, to make it look a little more, a little less confusing, a little clear. And now we've got a box and two point perspective. I'll do one more video where I'll show you how to draw the one on the center in just a moment.